Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a menu planning video slash food shop video. So we're going to go off I think possibly to Aldi later just because there's some certain products in Aldi that we want to go and grab um, and it's normally quite quiet in Aldi at the moment uh, and then I'm going to sit down and do my meal plan before I go shopping so I know what to get. Um, I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to get for like the boys and stuff as well but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to meal plan my personal food um obviously if you've already watched my previous video you'll know i'm doing a bit of a different program at the moment i'm doing ben mackey's 12 week program whereby i am now going to be calorie counting alongside following slimming world so a lot of people don't realize but slimming world obviously is calorie controlled you know any way of losing weight is well, calorie controlled um but it just takes out all the counting for you you just count your sins and you weigh healthy extras etc it's just another way of getting you to be in a calorie deficit so this is only for 12 weeks and it's just a new challenge because of lockdown etc so while i'm planning my food i'll also be taking into consideration the macros so thinking about things like calories protein um fiber and then making sure that i'm drinking enough fluids as well um so yeah it might be a bit different to how i normally eat but not much different if anything before i was probably having less calories than what i am now so now i actually get probably more than what I would have done previously um, but that's because I'm training regularly I'm training like five days a week and I'm going to be hitting 10,000 steps hopefully every single day where possible um, I'll do another separate video about how all that's going later this is purely for uh, meal planning and all of this type of food will fit in with slow and world it will fit in with calorie counting weight watchers whatever you, whatever you choose to do that works for you so let's get have a look for some inspiration I've been sat here with all my different books um, but I've actually taken most of my inspiration from this one so this is slim and wild's little book of summer uh i don't even know if they do these anymore 3.95 great little book just all different summery types of recipes so you've got like light lunches you've got some things that you could easily eat for dinner uh, and then you've got some things that would make really good snacks as well so a lot of the ideas i've got have come from here so i've already planned it out normally i plan it with you but i just think it's easier and quicker to do it this way um i always say i don't necessarily eat everything in this order i tend to be you know reactive to whatever's happening that day or whatever i fancy um i'm loving all bran at the moment so all bran and fruit is pretty much my go-to breakfast but i don't want to have it every single day i'm getting a bit kind of like right I need to mix it up a bit um, so I'm going to have my wheat bran cakes one day um, they're only half a healthy extra if you follow Slim and World um, there's separate videos on wheat bran cakes if you want to check them out um, then I'm going to do banana pancakes which I love which is just two eggs and a banana um, absolutely love them and it saves your bee choice which is really handy then I'm going to have boiled eggs on toast and I always have it with marmite and then I'm going to get some smoked salmon and have scrambled eggs and smoked salmon. Sunday, I don't know. I'm not too sure what we're doing yet. So I'm going to leave all of that blank. In terms of lunch, um, I'm really into salads. I, I've always eaten loads and loads of salads and loads and loads of omelettes. But I, again, you know, I need to make sure that I'm just having a little bit of variety. So um, tuna and feta Greek salad. That is um, basically just tuna feta um some greek salad leaves i don't know if you can you get greek salad leaves <laughs> i just made that up things like rocket and stuff like that but then i'll be putting in like olives so it'll be like full of healthy fats with the feta and the olives um and that'll just help boost my calories a little bit and then ratatouille eggs so ratatouille baked eggs uh was it this book i've done these before um where are we yeah so this this is really lovely this is basically just ratatouille which i make quite a lot ratatouille uh, but you just crack some eggs in it so all you need for that is like onion garlic peppers courgettes aubergine tin tomatoes a bit of tomato puree um obviously the eggs and then just some dried herbs so yeah it's a really easy meal um you can have this for lunch um some people serve it with toast or you could actually eat that quite easily for breakfast and it'd be gorgeous um it's completely sin free so yeah highly recommend this one and then i've got um I'm, i eat 
quinoa all the time i love quinoa and if you're looking at things like calories um protein etc it's one of the best grains that you could possibly eat so it's for me superior to things like pasta and rice um i'm gonna have the chili garlic and uh lemon i think it was so this is from the new Slim and World magazine. So I'm just gonna get the photo up to show you. Um, so the brand new magazine, there was a picture, um, garlic, chili and prawns on page 40, 48, I think it was. Um, so basically it's just king prawns, which I eat loads of, uh, lemon, garlic, chili, smoked paprika, uh, what else, and a bit of parsley, and then you just have it on some salad. So really looking forward to doing that. Um, but I'm going to have mine with quinoa. Then another day, chicken and mango chilli salad. So I thought that sounded really good. That was on page 44 of this book. So let's just show you that one. Um, hopefully the weather's going to improve and I'll be um, I'll be loving the salad life. So poached chicken. I'm not going to do poached because poached is rank. I like mine pan fried. So poached uh, chicken, mango and chilli salad. So what? made me think actually yeah i'm going to do this it's very rare that i put fruit with my salad so i just thought it'd make a nice change and i absolutely love mango um i'm trying not to show you too much of my nail because they need doing um and then the dressing is definitely right up my street that's limes which i love quark which i love and that's really high protein then you've got some coriander and some salt and pepper. So I like things that are simple. Um, the salad is obviously chicken, chicken stock, mango, spring onion, one red chilli, some monge too, and some rocket leaves. So yeah, looking forward to trying that. And then on Thursday, because I'll have had the pancakes for my breakfast, this is gonna to be tomorrow, because today's Wednesday, I'm gonna have a wrap pizza for my lunch. I'm probably gonna to top it with some chicken, and then I'll have that with salad. So just get in your wrap as your healthy bee, spread in a load of tomato puree, um, um, some cheese, and then some herbs, and then whatever else you fancy, and just grilling it. Um, another day, I saw I'd, I'd miss that out, hadn't I? Another day, I'm gonna have a bulgur wheat salad. So I might put like roast veg in that, and then bulgur wheat is similar to quinoa, um, but it's got a bit of a different taste. So check it out if you've never tried bulgur wheat before. And then moving on to dinners, so chunky cod and chickpea stew. So I don't really make fish stew ever, um, but I saw this recipe and I thought, yeah, I quite fancy that. Um, this is also from the new magazine, so I'll just show it you here. So chunky cod and chickpea stew. So this has got things like onions, leeks, garlic, smoked paprika, chilli, tomatoes, uh, chickpeas, chicken stock, spinach, and then you've got your fish and you've got some lemon and a bit of parsley. So quite simple. Um, I think on the other screen, I've got a few more ingredients. So chickpea, no, it's the same one. So yeah, quite simple. Um, but I think that'd be quite tasty for a change. And then I'm going to do good old burgers one night with some salad. Um, I think that day I'll either have to sin a roll um, and then track that into my calories. Or I will have it with some free wedges. Um, chicken fajitas, which I love. I use one off the Slimming World website. And then we've got salmon chilli parcels with cucumber uh, raita. Rita, oh, how do you say that? Raita. Salmon chilli parcels with cucumber raita and rice. So this was page 56 of the summer book. Um, I love that like yogurt-y mint dip. It's so nice. Um, here you go. So it looks like that. How gorgeous does that look? But it's really simple, um, but nice flavours. So you'll need your salmon, red pepper, green chilli, and then some lime. I mean, you can't get really much easier than that. And then you've got, um, for the raita, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, cucumber, Greek natural yoghurt fat free, garlic, and some mint. So dead, dead easy, but it's the sort of food that I'd like eat in a restaurant on holiday and look at that picture it just transforms you to some sort of seaside restaurant doesn't it um and that's completely sin free so there we go um spaghetti bolognese one night because the boys love it and it's one of chris's favorites and then i'll probably do some sort of like chicken satay skewers um on the saturday so that's like making a peanut butter sauce 
uh, marinating the chicken in it and then having it with like rice or I might have cauliflower rice, I'm not too sure. Um, and then snacks, I eat the same thing all the time. So I eat my total Greek yogurt, I eat my grenade bars, I eat pots of melon and grapes. And then I like to have apple as well, pink lady only, with some peanut butter spread on it. Not the sort of thing I'd normally on the Slimming World, but um, in terms of hitting my calories, the peanut butter will help me with that. And peanut butter is a great snack because it keeps you feeling really, really full. So sliced apple with some peanut butter on top is a brilliant, brilliant snack. Um, and then it's got a little space on here for goals. So 10,000 steps every day is part of my program. Five workouts a week, so two days I won't be doing that. Two and a half litres of fluid every day. I put water, but I don't drink water. I hate it. So sugar-free squash or cherry Pepsi Mac Max or decaf coffee or decaf tea. Um, stick to my calorie goal and stick to my protein goal. And then there's a aim to lose this week and what I've lost. I, I'm not doing this for any other reason apart from to build muscle. Um, lose inches and tone so I just want to get fitter and stronger it's not about losing weight and then I've got my shopping list here so we are good to go let's go food shopping so we just got back from Aldi the boys are just uh, watching a bit of telly they're on the scooter with their dad and I'm just going to talk you through some of the things that we got so we've got stir fry veg and um, what I'll do I'll put the single values across um, obviously I'm not going to show the calories of everything but I will when I actually eat it um, so we've got a stir fry here and then lots of vegetables and um, things like butternut squash we've got aubergines courgettes um, pink ladies are on special buy at the moment at Aldi which is great because they're my favorite we've got some whole grain brown rice chili then we've got some of these waffles for the boys to try just for a bit of a change for breakfast. You can actually toast them. Uh, and then I spotted these and these look fantastic. So I'm going to check this in by you. But they're 5% fat sweet chilli beef burgers. So they do the other plain ones. And they also do now a, a red pepper one and then the sweet chilli one. So I'm looking forward to trying them. In terms of calories, uh, they're 137 per burger, which I don't think is very bad at all. Uh, baked potatoes, salmon, uh, then we've got the chickpeas, decaf coffee. I don't really drink coffee very often, but I can't have caffeine, so um, I don't mind having like a cheaper decaf coffee. Uh, Chris got some of his like energy drinks. <laughs> Grayson's playing in the ball pit. Uh, jalapenos. These are sin free by the way, um, because they're zero calories. Then um, I thought I'd try these. Um, I haven't seen these before. They're the newer version of the Skia Icelandic um, yogurt and they're the ones layered with blueberry. And then I've got the raspberry one. I think it's the same thing as what they've had in before. They've just changed the packaging. Um, but they're a decent protein here and they're 121 calories. Um, then these are quite good if you just want a quick fix. These are stirring pasta sauces. And in terms of um, sins, I'll put it across, but half a pot is 66 calories for that one and 77 for the sun-dried one. Um, so they're just really handy to have in the cupboard. Um, then I've talked about these ones before, I think, but these are quite new. 20 25 grams of protein per pot um, and I got the vanilla and then I got some of the peach and passion fruit um, and I think that was the only two flavours they had and then more of the big Greek yogurt that I eat all the time it's not as nice as total but it'll do and that's sin free and decent protein and um, strawberries which I eat a lot of coriander um, the wafer thin honey roast ham um, prawns I eat a lot of prawns and then we've just got a couple of frozen veg as well just because it's handy to have it um, plain Greek fat free yogurt so that's for some recipes and then spotted quite a few different like snacky things so they've bought these out now which is part of the foodie market brand and they're 87 calories and they're roast beef flavor they're baked, not fried, and they're veggie puffs, and they're 87 calories. So I'm hoping they're going to taste like Monster Munch. And then they've got the pickled onion ones as well. Uh, Maryland cookie bars are on special. They are the Oaty cookie bars, chock chip, 94 calories a bar. Um, and it says that they're high in fibre, so that's quite good. So I thought we'd give them a whirl as a family. Saurines, so these are for the boys. They're like the little lunchbox loaves. Um, Calorie-wise, they're only 91, so if I want to nick one, then I might. And then they've bought out their own version of the Fibre One bars, so these are 84 calories. Um, this is the chocolate fudge brownie one. And then they've also bought out their own version of the popcorn bars as well. So this is the salted caramel almond and pretzel bar, and that is only 93 calories. 
Um, these are the bars that the boys like. These are like Oti bars. And then we've got some of their own French fries. Uh, squidgy yogurt pouches for them. Some squash. Uh, and then I thought I'd just pop a few things in the freezer for when I'm desperate um, and I'm struggling for time to cook. I've never given them anything like this before. Southern fried popcorn chicken. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go and see if they like it. Um, it's not something I'd give them a lot of, but it is made with 100% chicken breast, so hopefully it'll be all right. Um, they love garlic bread more prawns, <laughs> some spaghetti hoops. Um, Chris picked up these, I, I don't like this one. This is a vegetable biryani, I won't be eating that one, but he's got it just for convenience when he works late. Um, and then I thought I'd try these. This is the Tasty Catch range and it's garlic and herb sole. Um, it's only 197 calories per fillet and it's like proper fish. So I'm really excited about trying them. I'm not sure of the sin value, but I will have a look, but I thought they looked great. Uh, mini milks, only 30 calories per lolly. These are gorgeous. I absolutely love mini milks. Um, and then I don't mind the boys having them. And then I got them some watermelon lollies as well. Um, these are no, and they're only 62 calories. So I thought, again, if I want to steal them, then I can. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Pretend they're buying things for the kids, but really it's for them. 2% um, fat turkey mints. And then we got them just a couple of these little bits and bobs. I know like the red things are a bit scary sometimes, but it's you know everything in moderation so um, these are these sound really good pork and pickle bites and they're pork mature cheddar filled with pickle in breadcrumbs i mean heaven heaven 68 calories if i was going to nick one uh, bananas smoked salmon some more ham we eat a lot of ham spring onion stock beetroot and then chris wanted some sweetie um why are they called sweetie drop red peppers that's weird, I've never heard that. Uh, baby bell cheeses, some more little eggs, um, low fat cheddar, melon, um, tuna, and then these are brilliant value. These are so much cheaper than the normal stock pots. They're about 70p. Uh, some salad, uh, a couple of treats, little Haribo sweets. Then they do their own version of the multigrain hoops that the boys are absolutely obsessed with. So I've got those as well. And then we've got cottage pie. Uh, mushrooms and then we've got some mango chunks and pineapple chunks and then Grayson's playing with my other purchases a couple more reed diffusers um, and I normally have um, well it's not it's not this brand anyway I normally have different ones that are a bit more expensive but to be honest these smell the same so we've got the pomegranate ones so I've got one for the lounge and one for the hallway no I haven't for the landing and then I've been hearing brilliant things about this. They do a rose one and they do this one, which is the Healthy Glow. Um, and it's the glycolic toner um, and it's 5% glycolic acid. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, aloe vera and ginseng. And it's, it's an exfoliator. I couldn't get my words out there. It's an exfoliating toner, um, which means it's going to leave your skin really healthy looking and really smooth and really glowy. So I'm excited to try that. And then they've also brought out this now, Vitamin C Hot Cloth Cleanser. And you actually get the cloth with it. Um, this is very similar to another one I've got um, and the name is completely gone out of my head Lizelle so it's very similar to the Lizelle one that I've got um, this is actually vegan as well with vitamin C and vitamin E which I absolutely love um, so the fact that this is a vitamin C one I'm really really impressed so I'm looking forward to trying out these Hope you enjoyed that video guys hope it's given you some inspiration or some new ideas don't forget to drop something in the comments below if you do like these types of videos because i'll carry on making them if you do um let me know what's going to go on your menu plan this week if you've got any ideas then please feel free to share them any suggestions for future videos whatever you'd like i have got a another what i eat in a day one coming up so if you like those ones then make sure you subscribe and then you can check that out when i post that one thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!